Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Welcome to the Savage Nation. There is huge breaking news today. The fugitive Mexican drug lord of the Sinaloa cartel, El Chapo, has been caught in Mexico by the Mexican Marines. That's a huge story. It is in no way related to our discussion yesterday about the flood of drugs in America, but it's really a big story. It means the Mexican government itself got them. That's the big story. It wasn't the U.S. DEA. He wasn't hiding in America. He was hiding in his hometown, and they got him. What the effects will be on the flood of drugs in America is another story. Here's another hateful story. In the name of Islam, a Muslim shot a Pennsylvania cop in the face through his car window. Did you hear that one, Mr. Obama? A Pennsylvania cop was shot through the car window by a piece of human trash who pledged allegiance to ISIS in the name of Islam. Suspect and PA cop ambush said he acted in the name of Islam, police conf confirm. The suspect's gun, a 9mm Glock 17, had been stolen from police in 2013. The suspect, 30-year-old Edward Archer, said he pledges his allegiance to Islamic State. He follows Allah, and that is the reason he was called upon to do this. Did you hear this? I didn't. I don't. I think this made it to your local paper. The conversion rate to Islam in the prisons is what's causing this. That's number one. They're wrapping themselves in a religion in order to justify murder in many cases, because that's what he just did. So, Officer Jesse Hart, and it was in critical but stable condition. The piece of garbage fired a total of thirteen shots. Last night, three bullets struck the officer in his left arm. And Obama wants to bring more of them in. And no one wants to curtail the conversions in the prisons. Now it gets even worse on this open mic to Mike Friday. I'm sorry to give you bad news, but I told you yesterday the light is going out in America. And it's going out more quickly than I could ever imagine. The hate coming to us from overseas and from the domestic terrorists is overwhelming. And anyone with a brain can feel it. But wait, remember we were talking about why doesn't Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, why doesn't the creature who owns Twitter, why doesn't the guy, why don't the guys who run Google, Obama's good friends, good friends of Nancy Pelosi, remember the Google plane was used to fly a private wedding party up to Pelosi's daughter's wedding, you know, good friends of Obama at Google, Googleberg, Googleberg, Facial Stick, and Twitter. Remember we said, why don't you just shut these outlets down in areas where you know the terrorists congregate, whether it be in Iraq or in Syria, wherever they may be, and they still won't do it, guess what they did yesterday? You're not going to believe this. Are you ready for this? In Germany, Mark Zuckerface, the Google boys, and the Twitter gal have shut down any posts critical of the refugees and the rapes of German women. This is a story from the Washington Post. This is a story from the liberal Washington Post. Anyone who criticizes the Africans and the Muslims from the Middle East who have raped the German girls is considered a hate speecher. And old Google, Mark Facebook, and the Twitter gal have agreed to apply domestic laws rather than their own corporate policies, to close down any criticism of immigrants into Germany. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? Do you have any idea what fascism is? Do you know what national socialism was? Do you understand that in their attempt to stop the emergence of Nazis, they have become Nazis? Do you understand this? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Nah, you don't care. What's the difference? It's Friday, it's TGIF, time to get a few beers and 
I don't know what you do with yourself, but anyone who files an offensive post in Germany has been shut down by Mark of Facebook, Google of Googleberg, and Twitter of Twitterberg. But the Muslims who are posting how to join ISIS have not yet been stopped. They're going to discuss that with the Obama administration. Now, this German campaign to uh, stop any content that the government under the potato face Merkel considers offensive is being fought by those on the right and those conservatives who are filing a lawsuit against the government. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Can you believe that they're banning free speech in Germany that criticizes the flood of immigrants that the communist potato face Merkel is flooding into the country? Now let's come to America. Last night, of course, Obama did a <clears throat> show trial, something out of the Soviet Union on guns, something that Joseph Stalin would not have been proud of because it was very amateurish. But Obama admitted what I know to be true about most liberals who hate guns. They're afraid of them. Most of them are unstable characters at any speed. And he said last night he's never owned a gun. No, he never owned one, but he knows you shouldn't own one either. See, you don't need one, and he doesn't need one because he has... Well, he has the Praetorian Guard, doesn't he? He'll never need a gun, but you will need a gun from the thugs he's bringing into the country. Listen to clip number one of the Savage Nation. Owned a gun. Uh, now, up at Camp David, we've got uh, some skeet shooting. So on a fairly regular basis, we, we get a 12-gauge, and I'm not making any we claims about gauge? my marksmanship. Uh, but, uh, you know, I grew up mostly in Hawaii. and Mostly. Uh, other Mostly. than hunting for wild pig, uh, which they do once in a while, um, you know, there's not uh, the popularity of uh, hunting and sportsmanship with guns uh, as much as there are in other parts of the country. Do you realize how stupid the man is? Of course there's not as much popularity for hunting and sportsmanship in Hawaii, which is a small island nation. I mean, the only wild game is pig. If there were deer and uh, antelope, they'd be hunting for them. And buffalo. What a moron he is. You know, he isn't the smartest man in the world. He may be one of the most evil, but not the smartest. And then he goes on to say it's a conspiracy. I don't really want to do guns today, but I got to tell you this. You can't avoid it. When you see a demagogue like this of such low caliber, a low caliber demagogue like him, Talking about taking away the high-caliber guns that you, all of us know we are entitled to own. I mean, you got to talk about it. Now, in clip two, he gets very clever about a conspiracy. Listen. This notion of a conspiracy out there, and it gets wrapped up in uh, concerns about the federal government. Now, there's a long history of that. That's in our DNA. Uh, you know, uh, the United States was was born suspicious of some distant authority. Yes, it is fair to call the conspiracy. What, what, what are you saying? Are, are, the, uh, I, are you suggesting that the notion that uh, we are creating a plot to take everybody's guns away so that we can impose martial but, law but there's certainly is a, lot a conspiracy? Yes, there's... that is a conspiracy. No, it's not a conspiracy. With you, it's not a conspiracy. With you, it's an open statement of your desires from the day you became a left-wing fanatic. You know what amazes me about our political system, how limited it really is, is what amazes me. You look at European parliaments. They have far-left parties, left parties, left-of-center parties, center parties, uh, to the right-of-center parties, and to the far right. They have a full spectrum of opinion. Do you have any idea that Obama on that scale is at the far left, as far left as you could go? Do you realize we are in a tyranny in this country where a small fraction of the left, the most fanatical leftists, are running the country off the rails? And you think he's a Democrat? He's a demagogue, not a Democrat. And of course they want to take your gun away, for obvious reasons. They've always wanted to take your guns away. But most of you don't own guns, I get that. The city dwellers who listen to this show in the big markets don't own guns, and so they don't even know what to say about this. But he was confronted by many people, uh, in a way, stoogy setups. There was only one I really respected, and that was uh, American sniper widow who took him on over the right to bear arms. And he tried to argue with her, and of course she was a hundred times bigger than he is. This is the Savage Nation. Uh, it's open mic to mic Friday. 
The phone number is 855-407-282. I'd rather not get stuck on the gun question. So what I'm going to do for your listening pleasure is go back to the Week in Review and read some of the hot stuff that we talked about. I would say the biggest points of the week by the day. There's so many of them, I, I can't even read them. I was asked to be given bullet points. It's like reading an Encyclopedia Britannica. Because to make it into bullet points would have taken a lot more work than to just... It's too many points, okay? So let's go back to yesterday. Savage said Merkel, and uh, I said Hillary is the Merkel of the U.S. I said if Trump wins, it will be a landslide against Hillary as much as a victory for Trump. I talked about Soros in uh, removing the uptick rule that led to the decimation of the markets in 08. I talked about drug addiction yesterday. That was a big topic. And why is drug addiction, I ask, no longer a topic during a debate? No one is talking about drug addiction and the drug epidemic. I talked about cortisol levels and how to reduce them. I talked about the light in America. Is it dimming or is it only my, my feeling about it dimming? Is it a personal thing in my life? Or did I feel that many of you feel that the lights are going out in this country? And why are the lights getting dimmer? See, it's not about the lights going out. There's a dimness that is radiating across the country, I feel. And I want to know why. I believe it has to do with Islamic terror. I believe it has to do with a very dangerous, crazy, out-of-control lunatic in the White House who has no limits to his power, power madness. And people are afraid of the lunatic. They don't know what he's liable to do next. In other words, it's not enough what he got away with so far. He needs now more of the far-left agenda. And people are freaked out over this. And then we got to talk about all the other topics this week. I mean, North Korea set off a, nu a nuclear weapon of six kilotons. And I asked, why do you think China permitted North Korea, their junkyard dog, to do this? We talked about that. It's a very big story. And no one's talking about the North Korean nukes, which are a direct result of Obama's weakness. See, Obama's a, a bully. He's a classic bully. Obama bullies people at fake town hall meetings. Obama bullies the white middle class from the uh, bully pulpit. But when it comes to real dictatorships, such as Iran or North Korea, he has nothing to say. He kowtows to China, says nothing about the North Korean nuke, says nothing about Iran's missiles. But he bullies the middle class. That's his specialty. And you have to ask yourself psychologically, and we've talked about this, we've hinted at it, it's worthy of an entire encyclopedia, which is the mental illness of the President of the United States. Why does he have such an antipathy towards the white middle class in this country? Because that's who, is, that's who his animus is aimed at. His animus is not aimed at North Korea. His animus is not aimed at Iran. His animus is no longer even aimed at Putin, who, by the way, shouldn't be our enemy, he should be our ally. Where does he aim his animus on a daily basis? He aims it at the white middle class, especially the heterosexual Christian, with an almost vendetta. And if you're blind, you can't see this. But you can see it if you look at it clearly, and it's sickening. It's sickening to watch this. And I think these topics are interesting. There are other topics. Has Hillary said one word about the German rapes? No, she said nothing about the rapes of the women by Muslims, the immigrants. She said nothing about the rape of Yazidi girls months ago. Nothing. This is the Savage Nation headline. They got the Mexican dr drug lord El Chapo after a deadly shootout and six months on the run. In the name of Islam, a Pennsylvania cop was shot, pledging allegiance to ISIS. These are the topics. The phone number is 850. Oh, let me forget the big one. See, to me, the biggest story is the Washington Post story that I caught in passing last night which is that while Zuckovace, the Google boys, and the Twitter girl have yet to shut down their operations uh, where the uh, ISIS individuals are recruiting around the world, they found no problem in shutting down conservative opposition to Muslim terror in Germany. That's a huge story. It is really fascism. And you know what? It doesn't matter which side of the aisle fascism comes from whether it comes from the right or the left, call it by any name you wish, totalitarianism, 